guys, we're on chapter 7 today, which is equations. At any time, if you don't know any of the words we're talking about, it's probably a vocabulary word in some of the front. Uh, we only have a two sides of notes this time, so we need to make sure that you are paying attention and you don't lose any of them because these are worth 30 points right here. Now let's look to see what we're going to do today. Because the lessons are so short and pretty quick to do, um, I'm going to do the screencast all together. So let's make sure that if you're having trouble and you're watching this notes later on, just fast forward a little bit to the lesson that you need help with. So let's take a look at this first page. We're going to be talking lesson one is called equations. And the first section is solve multiplication and division equations mentally. When you replace a variable with a value that results in a true sentence, you solve the equation. That value for the variable is the solution of the equation. So all you're going to do, they're going to give you a problem that looks like 2 plus x equals 9, and you have to mentally think, oh, 2 plus 7 is 9. So you plug 7 in. So let's look at this one. We have a plus 7 equals 11, and they give you a choice. 3, 4, or 5. So we think about it. 3 plus 7 is 10, but 4 plus 7 is 11, so we'll circle of 4. Sometimes they will give you an option, so you have to think. g minus 7 equals 3. What minus 7 equals 3? And your answer would be 10. This one, they give you options. 9 plus what equals 17? Well, I know that 9 plus 9 is 18, so 9 plus 8 is 17. This one, they didn't give you any options, so you have to think about it by yourself. So we're thinking blank minus 11 equals 23. You're going to have a hard time to do that. Just do the opposite of what that sign says. So if I add 11 here, I get 34. So that's my answer. So this was, oh, sorry. I add these two backwards. This should say solve addition, and that should be multiplication. But I think we'll be okay. So now we're really going to be solving multiplication and division. Um, multiplication, I'm just going to multiplication sign, and division equations are solved in a similar way to addition and subtraction. They gave you some choices here, 3, 4, 5, 18 equals 6 times z. 6 times what equals 18? And your answer is 3. 8 divided by c equals 8. We're not going to use 0. We're going to use 1 because 8 divided by 1 is 8. 4 times 4x, which means uh, multiplication. So 4 times what equals 32? And your answer is 8. Okay, this one means 10 times what equals 90? And your answer is 9. 22 divided by what equals 2? Your answer is 11. And on this one, they gave you some options. What divided by 7 equals 3? And that is 21. If you're having a hard time with that, you need to study your facts. And that's all of lesson 1. So if we look at lesson 2, we're going to be solving and writing addition equations. Um, so we're actually going to be looking at something called the subtraction property of equality. So when we have um, addition equations, we're actually going to be subtracting. We're going to subtract the same number from each side of the equation. So what we did in lesson one, we just visualized it in our head. This is what we're actually doing. So this is what we're going to have to do. So x plus 5 equals 6. So we're going to subtract 5 on each side. 5 minus 5 is 0, so I get to cross that out. Now I have to do the same on the other side. So x equals 1, because 6 minus 5 is 1. Now we need to get this 3 to that side. To do that, we need to subtract. Whatever we subtract on this side, 
we're also going to subtract on this side. So C equals 3. Make sure you're circling your answers. So whatever the number is next to the letter, that's the number you're subtracting. We're doing the opposite of what the addition sign is saying we're going to do. So the letter is on this side, so it's 3.5. So we're going to subtract 3.5 by each side. Make sure when you're subtracting over here, you're lining up your decimals. So y equals 9.25. And then lastly, since the 2 is over here, we're going to subtract 2 from each side. And 9 minus 2 is 7, so 7 equals x. You can write it either way, just depending on how you want to do it. In lesson 3, we're going to be solving and writing subtraction equations. That means we're going to use the addition property of equality because we do the opposite of what it's telling us. So this means, the addition property of equality means we're going to add B, the like number, from each side of the equation. Same. So let's look at the example. Whatever side the letter is on, that's the number you're going to look at. Since we're subtracting 5 here, we need to add 5 to get it to 0. So that cancels out, and 9 plus 5 is 14. So we look over here. 1's over here. The opposite of subtracting 1 is adding 1. Negative 1 plus 1 equals out at 0. And we're going to do the same thing on the other side. So C equals 9. The opposite of subtracting 3 is adding 3 to equal out at 0. We'll do the same 3. 4 equals G. Okay, so we're going to add 7 to both sides. G equals 9. And here we're going to add 2.1 because we're doing the opposite. So 7.A equals 7.9. My favorite ones are the multiplication and division because we're just doing the opposite of what it's saying. So when we're actually doing multiplication, when it says solve and write multiplication equations, we're actually going to be dividing. So the division property of equality states that we're going to divide the same number from each side of the equation. So Divide the same number from each side of the equation. So we're doing the opposite of what the sign tells us. So the opposite of 2 times a is divided by 2. That cancels out to be 0 or 1. 6 divided by 2 is 3. So remember, a letter and a number next to each other means multiplication. So 4 divided by 4 and 24 divided by 4 is 6, so g equals 6. The opposite of multiplication is division, so we're going to divide to get rid of the 5 on this side to put it over here. d equals 6. Okay, same if we have decimals, we're going to do the exact same thing. But we're actually going to have to bring it like this. Move it once. 15 goes into 30 twice, so x equals 2. We're going to divide by 2.5 because that's left next to the number. We need to get it wants to be by itself. We have 5 divided by 2.5. Move the decimal once. It goes in there twice. In our last one, when we're solving and writing a division equations, we're actually going to be using multiplication. So we're going to look at the multiplication property of equality. So we're going to multiply the same number, let's just say from, each side of the equation. So to get rid of division, we have to do the opposite, which is multiplication. So when we have a number over a letter, that just means it's division. So the opposite of that is multiplying it to get it to the other side. So P equals 20. Most of these you can probably just see in your head. 
but you do need to show your work how I'm showing it. The opposite of dividing by 6 is multiplying by 6. So n equals 60. The opposite of dividing by 13 is multiplying by 13. So v equals 182. Opposite of dividing by 3.2 is multiplying by 3.2. 1, 2, 1, 2. So c equals 15, oops, sorry, 0 0.04. For extra practice, there's always problems in the book that you can do. Or you can visit YouTube or Khan Academy.